today we're going to talk about some of the pre-emerge herbicide programs that are effectively controlling weeds in a number of different crops. We're going to start today by talking about canola. Unfortunately in canola we don't have a whole lot of options. Pre-emerge we're typically talking to people about trifluralin. Now the thing with trifluralin, this is a really old product. Fortunately, it's still quite effective on most grasses and even some small seeded broadleaves. I think a lot of people sell this product short when it comes to small seeded broadleaf control. And when you've got a crop like canola where you don't have a whole lot of post-emerge options for good broadleaf control, making sure that you're using the right rate of trifluralin, you want to have that rate up as high as you can safely. Typically we're talking a pint and a half of trifluralin and you will get some control out of the small seeded broadleaves, weeds like lamb's quarters and any of the pigweed species. One of the things with trifluralin, of course, you're going to have to incorporate it. And I would say this too, if you instantly incorporate it, it works better. So even at a pint and a half, it's gonna be really effective weed control for you. What many farmers that have used it for years have done is put spray nozzles right on the front of their tillage tool. So with one implement driving across the field, they're spraying it and it's being instantly incorporated. The next crop we'll focus on is dry beans. We talk often in soybeans about using the three pre program. Well, you can't use metribuzin in dry beans, but you certainly can use one of the yellows, sonalan, prowl, or trifluralin. Make sure you're checking the rates because that may vary a little bit. With prowl, we usually don't like to go full rate in dry beans. And then we're not talking authority in dry beans, we're talking Spartan. Same thing, same product, just a different name. So I'd take a look at those products, Spartan and the yellows. The other option you've got is a product called Spartan Elite, which is going to give you Spartan, the PPO, and a Group 15, that same mode of action you'll find in Dual. That's going to be fine. I just prefer the yellow instead of the Group 15. I love Group 15s, but they're just not as good, not as effective on weeds as the yellows. One of the things I'd say, Brian, is we don't have many post-emerge options, so we've got to get great weed control pre. So Oftentimes when I'm talking to a farmer and he says, man, I got a problem out of my dry beans. What can I do better to get, get weeds under control? And, and most of the time they're looking for post-emerge options and just thinking maybe there's a new thing that I haven't heard of yet or something people are doing in another part of the country. And I say, no, it comes back to that pre-program. And, and oftentimes, well, I used a pre. I, I did. I used Spartan Charge. Well, is that it? You didn't use two pre's. You, you need to be using at least a couple of different pre's here. And like Brad said, you can't use Metribuzin, but make sure you're using two because it's going to be way cheaper than either losing yield post-emerge or some of the post-emerge products you're going to do to try to clean things up. Okay, but it's confusing because when you say Spartan Charge, that sounds like I got two different things. I got Spartan, I got AIM. But AIM has no residual. AIM is the same chemical family as what Spartan is, so you're not gaining anything other than some burn down. What we're talking about is having two residual herbicides. That's what you need. So use a yellow plus Spartan. Now you're in good shape in your dry beans. Let's turn to field peas now. And the good thing here is you do have three pre's that you can use. The, the one little change from our normal three pre soybean program is you've got to use Spartan rather than Authority, but still to have three different modes of action that are effective on so many small seeded broadleaf weeds is a really good tool in front of field peas. Yeah, and keep in mind, Spartan is the same thing as Authority, same active ingredient, so really no big change. Okay, now we finally get to lentils. Here again, we're gonna use the three pre-program, but we've got another little twist to this. Yes, we can use a little bit of Metribuzin. We can use some yellow there, that's no problem. But unfortunately, Valor, Authority, Spartan, they are not gonna be labeled in lentils, at least as far as we know in any area of the country. But what is labeled is Sharpen. So just check the label to make sure that's still labeled for lentils in your particular state. But you're gonna have to use a real low rate of Sharpen. You're not gonna get much residual out of this, unfortunately, but you'll get just a little bit. And we do want that because here again, we don't have a lot of real great post-emerge options for weed control. So again, that's a yellow, Metribuzin, and a very low rate of Sharpen. Well, we talked about a number of different crops here, canola, dry beans, field peas and lentils. Just know this, there are some really good options for pre-emerge weed control, but they do vary depending on which crop you're doing. So if you're raising a number of different crops on your farm, make sure you're checking the labels that these herbicides are labeled in your area. Will these herbicides control our weed of the week? Well, we'll tell you what will coming up next.